Okay, this is a default message uh, for all the movies I make. I basically am trying to say that you should watch everything before coming to a conclusion or making any judgments or ridicule or praise. Or, you know, basically see all before commenting via video or text. I don't want to prematurely affect anyone's judgment on text. They might read the text and not watch the movie. Before coming to conclusions, that is how ignorant and judgmental people are. It's just a wise thing to do. To watch something before... To watch every angle, to listen to everybody, everything somebody has to say before you ridicule or praise them. If you don't know what they say, you can't comment on it. It's just a wise, intelligent thing to do. So I ask you to watch everything, no matter how long it is. If it's an hour, if I break it up into 25 minute parts and different parts, or if it's one, one long hour movie, just watch it all. Because you're doing me or you're doing yourself a disservice. Both. You're doing me and yourself a disservice if you don't watch everything. Thanks. I appreciate it. For your mind and mentality, edition 43. And this is continuing on Alexandria Wallace. And I go into some more comments on some more movies. I'll put the links up to the movies uh, in the comments. Hey. No, not everybody. Not everybody is hardworking. I'm not hardworking. I'm telling you right now, I'm Asian. I'm not hardworking. So what do you have to say about that? You're ignorant. You're ignorant. Can't clump a whole group of a, a, a class, a group together, and, and say they're a one thing. No, they're not. Hey, Asians aren't good at math. I'm not good at math. And what, what is she? What this host has to say about that? I'm putting this as a reply video. Okay, and they don't make retarded, I'm sorry, they don't make videos like that on YouTube that make them look like complete idiots. You look like a complete idiot in that video. No, no, the other thing that bothered me about that actually is a sense of entitlement she has. Like, we let you into our university, which is fine. Right. You're in the U.S. You can't, like, it's, it's like the, uh, people uh, from different countries wearing, the, the women are wearing, the, covering their face with their head, you know. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure which country. I think it's Iran or Iraq, but I could be wrong. I'm just saying, you want to try to absorb the culture a little bit and kind of, it's like a give and take, be a compromise. You can't just do whatever you want and act like what you want, like you're in your own country. A lot of people would say that and agree with me. You can be yourself. You can't just be oblivious to how your conduct affects other people. I have a little different take on than what the standard take is. In our infinite mercy, she says it's fine. No, but that's what you're getting. It's not your, you know, it's that, like she has the sense of like, of course, like rich white blonde girls with big movies that does. How do you know? How do you know if she's rich? How do you know if, if she's in the act, if she acts like she's, if she wants to be entitled? You don't know. You live in her life. You live in her shoes. You're just based on one, one video, right? One movie. Do this in videos. Uh, own UCLA and, you know, can then have access to all the universities. But we have let the Asian whores in. Are we not merciful? Which is fine. Yeah, we're all, and she says, look, uh, I used to talk about this thing, you know, how they bring their family, and you know, how dare they bring a family. They're close, their families are close. It's crazy, it's terrible. She said, it doesn't bother me anymore. Really, if it doesn't bother you anymore, why'd you do a whole video on it? But my favorite part was when she's describing how into her studies she was in the library. Oh, I when I'm deep into my... But I'm deep into my studies, and I'm thinking like political science. How do you know she's not? She's uh, lying. You're saying she's lying. Maybe she's irritated because she is actually trying to study, and these people are disturbing her. It doesn't matter if she's actually doing something important. When you're disturbing somebody, the other person doesn't have to be doing anything important. That person should stop disturbing the person, regardless. I answer something, and I'm just about to have an epiphany. When she said that, I thought. Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I actually did say that. You know, they're just making fun of her. I can't listen to this crap anymore. They're just like making fun of her now. I just want to get to some of these comments. <sighs> Let's 
Somebody says, clearly you've never tried studying in college library. I, got, I go to another co large li college on the other side of the county, country, and the only people there are stuck in the libraries are fresh out of both Asians on their cell phones and maybe the occasional frat boy who somehow found his way in there. Been like that for the past three years, three years. Now he's just verified some of this, what she said. I've tried to get any shit done in the library during my undergrad. It's so bad I just don't even hit up the library anymore. I've got to find a secret study spot. That's just sad. I said I hear some people are greatly affected by noise. I am one of them. I get so many rude people in public places, thoughtless, unkind jerks who are oblivious. Also arrogant, smug individuals trying to be someone he's not greatly offends me. Read all my comments here. That's my role. my reply to him. The previous guy. I'm having a little bit of a hard time finding finding certain comments. This is particular guy. Oh, Ching Chong, Ning Wong, Ching Chong. This is another Asian guy. What? It smelled like what? And you still went down? Oh, that's gross, man. Alright, I, I gotta talk to you later. I gotta make a video about this dumb bitch from UCLA. <laughs> Alright, Dad. Bye. Is this caller dumb? And, and for no reason. Because you think she's dumb doesn't make it dumb. An opinion that is not necessarily fact. What's up, y'all? First of all, rest in peace, Nate Dog. Second of all, let's talk about Alexandra Wallace because for the past week and a half, everybody's been blowing me up to make a video about this chick from UCLA who did a rant about Asians in the library. But at this point, we've all seen it, right? And I wasn't going to do one at first because I felt like everything that there was to be said has been said already. You know, blah, blah, blah. Can't believe she said... Well, you have the, you have the freaking maturity of a, of a freaking two-year-old. Who are you, a little freaking kid? Oh, this chick. This chick. Is that how you address somebody? You know, it's not like trying to be a fake, uh, uh, you know, African-American gangbanger. And that ignorant, blah, 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 Asians, blah, blah, blah. And then I realized, as kind of a member, a representative of the Asian American community, I should, you know, shed some light on some things because there aren't a lot of us repping, you know? And that's the media's fault. That's not your fault, white people. That's not your fault, black people. That's not your fault, Hispanic people. That's not your fault, um, uh, Lithuanian, Lebanese people. You know, you don't see a lot of Asians on TV, so of course there's going to be some misconceptions. For example... When I worked at Foot Locker, there was a black chick that came up to me, and she saw my name tag, said, Tim. She said, Tim, don't all y'all have names like Ming and Lee? I said, no, Shaniqua. No, I didn't say that. I, I could have said that, but I didn't. But because I realized that people are just ignorant. They're not trying to be racist. He's talking about ignorant, and yet he's ignorant to his, the truth that this woman speaks. You know?
I'm gonna get to this other movie in a minute, but just they're just ignorant, you know. I gotta make my point. When I was in high school, it was a predominantly Mexican high school, and when I say Mexican, I'm not talking about all Hispanic people. I'm talking about Mexicans from Mexico. Okay, so calm down, Jorge. No, I'm just playing. Um, you know, this guy's wasting my time. I have to read some of these comments. I say to him, have you ever considered how your conduct affects others? Or is it all about you? Your conduct affects others. You're attempting to sound like a black gangbanger rapper is offensive for our people. I may be a little, little bit too harsh with him, with, the, with him uh, but this is nothing compared to the truth. The truth can't be pretty. You want to preach about tolerance, you speak about punching somebody in the vagina. He's talking about punching this girl in the vagina. I say, hypocrite, second fault is religion. Misguided morality and practices are as bad as haters. A party is like a religion. A straight jack is your mind. Jack of Orkin. May 26, 1928 to June 3rd, 2011. He, he's a bully. He wants to talk about hurting this woman. Bad conduct is bad conduct, no matter where it comes from. I can't stand your fake attempt at trying to sound African American and Caucasian. You don't make, you do make some valid points, but you should care if people call you a chink or any other racist names. It's to set the record straight. That's why you care to set the record straight. No one deserves to be treated like a second-class citizen. Do good or proactive comments are great, like greatly disappoint me. Why did you try being humble? Don't you put don't put some fake prankster persona on the internet and people can, people can take you seriously. Second, your smug attempt at being someone you're not. You're not white. Stop trying to be. I'm Chinese person telling you I'm offended. Third, Alexander Wallace is correct that you should give her a medal for speaking the truth. You speak of ignorance and you speak you display great ignorance to yourself. You ridicule this woman for speaking about the conduct of people. Rudeness is rudeness. Damn right, rudeness is rudeness. It's nothing to do with racism. Some people were saying to me, Don't you Asians have weird names? Why are you called Amy? It's a white bitch name. I'm like, What? That's racist. Okay, alright. She I guess she's making some good points there. Um Have to continue this. I know this is going to be a long movie because I just wanted. I don't. I have so much to say. I don't I want to break this up. For the first like year and a half, you know, all I heard was, "Hey, Chino, what's up, Chinito? Hey, Chino." Or people and people and a lot of them were just mad, confused. Like some people were like, "So there's there's China and then there's Asia," and they just didn't get it, you know. But then eventually, I wasn't Chino to them anymore. Eventually, I was Tim. I was fly ass Tim with the nice shoes who was stealing their girlfriends. You know, and eventually I was be able to tell them, look, there's Asia, and in Asia there's China, and there's Japan, and then there's Thailand, and it's all different, and we all speak different languages. You know, I was able to educate people. You know, and I realized this bitch is not racist. She's just stupid. I I bitch. Stupid because you don't agree with her. You know, this is this is the kind of ignorance, and he's preaching about ignorance. She has Asian friends. You know, she even mentioned something about yeah, Asian exactly. friends. Yeah, exactly. I don't think she's racist. She's just... Exactly. Oh, he finally got a clue there. Stupid. And so it's our duty to please that booty. No, no. It's our duty. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another movie on this. I'm going to cut this, get to this other movie that I've been trying to uh, look at here. Miss Natalie Ann, I'm pretty sure her family is dying. She t she was talking alive for a while. She probably has been so harassed she is hiding. Well, I mean, that's true. She wrote a couple of these other comments that was just so ignorant. I can't seem to find these other comments right now. Hi. Hi. No, shut up. And he's just making this, this stupid little prank video. No, just shut up. No, stop it. Don't talk. Hey, guys. I don't know. 
know if you guys Freaking seen the video before. Fucking it's rapper this noise. Girl that goes to UCLA and People expect you to take seriously when you're comment. playing some sort of hip hop music like that. That's, uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put it in the uh, description. But yeah, so it's just about this girl that just rants on about Asians in the library. Okay, so here at UCLA, it's finals week. Okay, if it's finals week, I don't know why you're making a video. Why are you making a video? Because it's wisdom, it's the truth, and it's call people out. Maybe she's done her finals already, and now she has time to make a movie. Is this a little stupid old joke? You know, when you're gonna when you're gonna knock somebody for the faults, also see the other side, the good parts of the what they what they're, what they're doing. She spoke the truth, and this guy didn't recognize that. Uh, why wouldn't you be studying right now? Stupid. So then she like continues on about like not being the most politically correct person in the world so don't take it offensively and she continues on to say don't take this offensively i don't mean it towards any of my friends i mean it towards random people that i don't even know in the library oh okay well in that case it's completely fine she didn't say it's completely fine and she and the fact that she's trying to offer an apology means that she's trying to be sincere and not hurt people have you thought about that jerk continue the problem is it is automatic judgment. Oh, you not listening to anything she has to say? Stupid. You're stupid. The problem is all the Asian people that live in all the apartments around me, their moms and everybody that they know that they brought along from Asia with them comes here on the weekends to do their laundry, buy their groceries, and cook their food for the week. It's because their family loves them, okay? Who cares if they're around you? Not just love. It's called independence. You should be grown up enough to take care of yourself also, not every weekend, get it? It's not like they're going through your apartment. <sighs> in America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Oh yeah, I read that law somewhere too. Every it doesn't have minutes, to be a law. I will be, okay. It doesn't have to be a law, it's called right and wrong. Laws and morality don't have, aren't the same. What a, what a dim-witted individual. Yeah, and, and, and you gotta like admit it. it, it's undeniable that's the way we sound, some of us. Being that I don't speak Chinese, I can't sound like that, can I? I'm not a very good actor. Get it? Epiphany, and then we seem to bother her exactly every single time she gets an epiphany or something like that. I, I don't even know. I, I, mm -hmm. Yeah, we get people to call us exactly at that time. Well, I swear they're going through their whole family, it's just checking on everybody from the tsunami thing. I'm... That's terrible. Yeah, that shows what I don't even have numbers numbers to my uncles, aunts, or nephews because they don't give them to me. They don't see me on Christmas. They don't see me on my birthday. They don't see me any any holiday all year round. It's been like that for 25 years. So no, I don't have numbers to call. Right? Breaks the stereotype there, doesn't it? We're a slave to our culture. We can't be who we really are because people want to put base on image and stereotype people. There are certain times where stereotypes are true. I've said that many times before. So yeah, you're mean, ridiculous. Honor, but I just want to and a lot of things you say. Hypocrite. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hypocritical. I'm going to cut this short. There's so much more to say on this. Actually, I'm just trying to find. I'm pretty sure she would get bashed for the rest of her life. This Natalie Ann. Cute bait as her YouTube.
Asians in the Library, UCLA rant, original and cut video, and apology. Okay, so here at UCLA, it's finals week. So we know that I'm not the most politically correct person, so don't take the... Because she has done things with her and she gets jealous when she is in the center of attention. Even how hard you try to understand her, she seems like she likes to start trouble because she goes on and on about the wants to make blocks. She seems like she has everything handed to her by a da her daddy. And mommy, I'm pretty sure she would call her parents if this happened to her. I replied to these two comments. How do you know she gets jealous? It seems like every almost everything you say is an assumption. How how do you how have you even met this person? Wise people would say you need to actually meet someone, spend time with them for at least a month in eyes in my eyes to actually know them. You want to point a finger at somebody, it's false. Look at yourself, jerk. You have very little intelligence, don't you? Guess what? That usually makes someone preaching about ignorance and is ignorant, hypocritical. You don't know if she gets everything handed to her for for free. Do you live her life? You don't live her life, do you? You have wa haven't walked in her shoes, have you? And I, I and I, 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 sh I didn't add this, but if you, why would you want to walk in somebody's shoes to under for understanding, wisdom, and intelligence? And there's more to it than that. It's not all about her faults. Adopt your assumptions can be proven by any facts. You are just making things up based on how she sounds and image. It's bias. That's just bias. A stigma. Very bad mistakes and moves. Shows you don't have any intelligence to fill an atom. Think I'm harsh. I have zero tolerance for ignorance. And I really do. I'm pretty sure your smug, judgmental, ridicule assumptions aren't even going to change because people like you are a dime a dozen. That's very correct. Quick to ridicule and belittle. Treating people like a second class citizen. You are very ignorant. Your biased judgments make you blind to the fact she is telling the truth. Besides all the things that ignore you or anyone else, the truth is the truth. It's bad conduct and rude to disturb people by using the cell phone. It, it isn't really about race, genius. It's about right and wrong. The truth setting the record straight. I'm Chinese. I'm telling you, your ridicule assumptions, conclusions are wrong. If you're going to act like you know what you're talking about, know what you're talking about. I ran out of room there. Okay. Well, there's tons to say. So, next time.